and welcome back. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Boys. We have our special guest, uh, Marque Walton from 2015 team, and also his buddy, Dominique Dam. Coach Bentley, what do you think about these two guys? Well, first of all, welcome to the show, fellas. Uh, how you guys all doing during this quarantine? Good, good. Well, I man, well. Distancing. <laughs> I, yeah, that's good. Keep the social distance. I can see you guys have social distanced yourself from the barber. That's for sure. We all have. So. <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> oh, you guys look a little different from the 2015. But uh, we got you guys on here today. Just wanted to, you know, have you guys talk a little bit about your time at Wakefield. Uh, I mean, Marque, you can start off just uh, how you, you came to join that varsity team as your sophomore year, and you, you looked out on the court and you had a guy like Corey Moore and Ermius uh, Nega out there on the court. How did those guys inspire to help you, uh, you know, win, win, win and do the things you did by the time your senior year? Well, one thing that I learned was uh, basically the will to win and togetherness. Um, understanding that we couldn't do it by ourselves and that um, it took all of us collectively, you know, to win, you know, because that was the overall goal was to win. And those guys taught me a lot of uh, leadership skills. Um, understanding, um, you know, my place where I was at my sophomore year and, um, you know, just walking with me towards my journey. And Damo, you came in with that team as well, too, as a sophomore, relatively unknown. And, you know, you started for that team. And, of course, that was Corey Moore's team. But I think Corey Moore had a lot of confidence in you. How, how did those guys build you up to become the player you uh, were by the time you left Wakefield? I mean, to be honest, I think, we started we started early with the brotherhood i don't think you remember but it was a it was a time where before we had readers and leaders uh you told us to like get together and actually bond with each other and so it was uh it was at the old wakefield we were in the, the uh, main locker room and basically all of us like really just opened up to each other like to the point where like some guys were teary eyed stuff like that but like i feel like we got closer and we got we became one that day and then from that day on, like, we just got stronger and better, like, together as a team, for real, for real. I think you probably got your uh, confidence in that, uh, was it the, what was it, Coach, the semifinal regional game against oh, Robinson when you had yeah. your first triple-double? Yeah, that was a, that was a that, great day. I think that kind of put you on the map uh, that year, um, you know, with that team and um, with those guys and everything they did. But um, uh, good times. I mean, if you guys speak on some times at, at your times at Wakefield, feel free. Quay, go ahead. You got it. Oh, all right. Well, um, I would say my time at Wakefield was a, a very important time in my life. Um, basically, I learned a lot of um, development things, um, not just with basketball, but as life as well. Um, just um, understanding the aspect of, you know, um, men and uh, understanding that you guys, you know, Coach Bentley, Coach Buck were, you know, more than just our coaches, you were um, like father figures as well. I, um, I definitely was your dad on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> man, go ahead, man. Man, the facts are facts. Man. All right, all right, go ahead. I'm not saying you were my dad on the weekends. I said, all right, now. <laughs> okay. So can, can you look in the camera and actually say that you never said I was your dad on the weekends? You're not my dad. My man, that's what I thought. I he mean, was never my dad on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel, well, to me, I feel like coaches, you, uh, Coach Bentley, Coach Buck, I feel like y'all should help to shape shape us as men. <clears throat> also, like, on and off the court and, like, like all all the uh, off the court activities that we did, like, as t as a group, like, we did readers and leaders. We um, we helped the uh, less fortunate packaging uh food Almost. at one of yeah. the trips by Nova, like, 
yeah, we did, we did a lot of things that helped the community, also helped us build our own resume. I, I feel like basketball was, an, basketball was an outlet, but it wasn't like, it wasn't the main goal. You weren't, you were teaching it, you guys were teaching us more than just basketball. Good. <clears throat> well, I, got, I got a question for you, Damo. Um, I was just doing a couple of re research, okay, and I happened to call Mark Quay, uh, what was about, I think last week, and, and I couldn't actually remember your Asian name, and he happened to bring. I don't have I one. Uh, I don't have one. So that's okay. Okay. I, I just wanted to say, how you get? How did you get the name Pong Pong Wing? That's not my name. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what that is. Is, is. is that given to you from your grandmother or your heritage, your background? I'm just trying to figure out how Pong Wing is becomes Damo fan. Can you can you break that down for me? It's it's an Asian nickname my grandmother gave me. Okay, so was she like playing ping pong? No. Or pong wing basically means it's a saying, basically like you're you're helping, you're you help to, like you help people. Like I guess like you're giving, you're a giving person. And, and I can honestly say you are one of the most giving persons that I ever met. You you are a special guy, man. And, and I truly, Appreciate honestly, <laughs> saying that from the bottom of my heart, you are one of those kids, seriously. And and you always thought about somebody else before you thought about yourself. I mean, you were a little crazy in practice. Like when I was watching the um, the uh, the Jordan supposed to show that was on the other day, the last, last dance, the last dance, and and when Jordan started talking, how he made better players. If you could take the insults from Jordan, you would become a better player. Mm -hmm. And I immediately thought about you, how how much willpower you had because of your love of your game and how hard you played and how infectious it was about rubbing off onto the other players about your demeanor on how you came to work every day. So I can honestly say that that was a big thing, a big thing for me for your time at Wakefield. Okay. Can, I, can I add to that? Cause why we got both of them on? Cause coach, you know how close Mark Way and Damo are and were in high school, probably two of the best friends possibly ever. And in practice, I had never seen two best friends fight as much as them. But once we put our hands in and said, one, two, three, Wakefield, they were back. But I think Damo knew how, what buttons to push with Marquay to make get the best out of Marquay. And I think that's what Coach Willis is talking about, the last dance. Yeah. Jordan did that with those guys. He knew that he needed. Damo, I think you knew you needed Marquay. Quay, how, did, how was that with Damo being your main man? getting on you every day in practice to try to make you the best player that you possibly could be. And, and it, it worked, but how, how did it, how was that for you? I mean, I would say that it was, you know, um, it was needed. Um, understanding that, uh, you know, just coming out as, um, you know, off my junior season and uh, knowing that uh, I could get better. Um, so I, I feel that he knew that I could get better and he was doing everything in his power to make sure that I reached my highest potential um, that senior year. Um, and it was like, basically, like, we were, like, at, at war with each other. Like, we were never on teams. You know, we were, like, Buck basically. never put y'all on teams again. And, 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 you know, and that's what Jordan said. Jordan said he would start off with the starters. Then he get to the point, where, you know what, I'm going to play with the second five or the third five and yeah. see if I can beat the starters, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. And then that's how it was. <laughs> And then, but but at the at the end of the year, you know, um, at, 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 so somehow, you know, Damo and uh, and X came to my team, you know, <laughs> when we, was, we, we was playing that five man. man. I was gonna remember. You know, that. they they came to the team, you know. So but I, can I, I add on? Can I add on? to you, Quay. <laughs> <laughs> can I add on though? Add on, Damo. I feel like just like just like watching like like guys like older than me like that came in, like, Corey Moore, Ermius Nega, Raekwon Hobson, Jalen Carver, like, Xavier Cooper, like, all of us, like, we were all, like, so, like, tight. Like, we were, like, like, you you guys never seen us, like, apart. Nope. I feel like, <clears throat> like, the older guys helped me, like, see, like, like, we can actually be good at something and actually, like, like, take over, like, the whole league, I guess. Like, like, I don't think I could be, like, who I am today without them. Like, Marquay Wall and Xavier, like, everyone, like, you feel me? Like, it it took a whole collective effort, but like, I feel like we all pushed ourselves to a point where like we were gonna get better regardless. Like even it was first team, second team, third team. Well, we we watched your maturation, Domo, because of your sophomore year you didn't even talk in practice. <laughs> and I mean, of course, when you have a dominant voice of a Corey Moore, you didn't talk until your senior year, and and you were that guy. And it was great watching you grow up to the 
shy guy on the team, just getting rebounds and a couple putbacks, to actually being, you know, the all-time scoring leader and rebound and shot block leader since Buck and I have been at Wakefield. So we definitely, you know, watched you grow up. But but I can say when you say he didn't talk much, and I and I can I I, I want to say this was maybe his second year in the country, and his English wasn't very well, I've, good. I've been born, <laughs> I was born in Fairfax Hospital. Stop playing with me, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Just for, for you guys out there that don't know how our relationship is with our guys, man, this is just a small little insight. And, and again, these guys graduated in 2015. And, you know, I talk to Coach Willis all the time, and he's like, I just got off the phone with Mark Quay. You know, it is, the relationships at Wakefield, they don't, they don't stop. When, you know, we say one, two, three family, we truly mean that. And these are two very special kids uh, that gave us everything. And just looking at my stats and stuff, and we'll go into all that stuff later. Um, but these two guys, what they brought to Wakefield with uh, Coach Willis and I at the helm, were 73 and 13. Um, they lost 13 games in three years at Wakefield. Uh, three district championships, a regional championship, two state appearances. Um, these are things that, you know, we're, we're in debt to you guys forever as far as when we talk about being coaches. Um, people, we talked the other day, Coach Willis and I are on this group chat with Domo's on there, too. We haven't put Quay on there yet, but we're on a group chat with about 16 guys from Wakefield from the age of 2003 to 2018, 19, or whatever. And, and me and Buck was talking about this before because he's talking about adding certain people to it. I said, no, it's only certain people that could be on this group chat because we know who can take it and who can't. And, and we already know if you're on a group chat with George Johnson anyway, you better have tough skin. And as you guys know from the previous shows, George Johnson goes after Damo because he loves Damo. And it's, it's just so good to, to see what these guys have brought and the relationships that we have with these guys, man. Right. And, so. and I just want to say, like, I was looking at the the uh, bracket, Markway, and it looks like you're going to be uh, – you moved into the second round versus uh, Chris Warner. Yeah. yeah. It was, was, a, uh, was a tough kid. And, um, Four-year varsity guy. He, he he won three different district championships. He's he won a regional, a runner up. Uh, he had three state appearances for Chris Warner. I mean, this is going to be a tough battle for you. How, how do you feel about you matched up as far as you with uh, Chris Warner? Man, look, I understand all the accolades, you know, you know all the all the things, but I feel like um, you know if it was uh, just me and him, like him in his prime and me in my prime, I feel like um, just me as far as my, my, my appearance is like, uh, I have like kind of an, uh, an intimidating appearance because of, because of my voice and like because of, you know, when games start, I get loud, try to get under your skin and things like that, you know. So, I mean, I'm trying to use all aspects that I can to try to, you know, and I, I, I say it all the time. Basketball is ninety nine percent mental, one yes, percent physical. <laughs> no? So if we look at staying with Coach Coach Willis's theme, I'm looking over at the Midwest bracket where Damo is, is has fallen. And, and and Damo, congratulations! After we did all the computer generated things with all the sixty four guys, and you were actually our number one overall uh, uh, seed in the tournament. So congratulations to that. And that says a lot when you got guys like Alex Irma, Kenny James, George Johnson. Corey Moore, I can keep going on, but you were the overall seed. And you won your first round match. It was easy. Um, it was real easy. I can't even remember who you went against. It was that easy. I believe but it was uh, Luke, Luke, Lucas Hatchett. Oh, Lucas. Was it Lucas Hatchett? No. He ain't going to get Lucas. Midwest. Let me check. Let me, let me pull the bracket. I can pull the bracket up for you hey, right now. Pull the now. bracket up for me, Coach. Check that out for us real quick. Yeah, let's, let's see real quick. But I know I know he had an easy easy first round game. He's <laughs> he all the way over to, to your right, Coach. Uh, it's at the bottom. Yeah. Midwest. Uh, Patrick Haper. Oh, yeah, there you oh, go. Still, oh. still saying the boy's name wrong. It's Patrick yeah, Haper, yeah. Coach. <laughs> oh, Patrick okay. Haper, yeah. Damo, it, it was a good thing to see that, though, because it was two centers going against centers. Right. Um, and, and it was easy for that. Patrick did a good job for us. But now, though, Damo, in the second round, you're going against one of uh, Coach Willis and Coach Bentley's favorite guys, man, who, who helped us start our program in, in a in – a, Chris Edmonds, who was a 5'10 power forward, <laughs> but not too many people outwork this guy, man. So, I mean, I know we've taught you guys about the former players, and I know you know the name Chris Edmonds. If I'm not mistaken, Chris probably was around a couple of times to watch you play. 
and I know you get didn't get a chance to see him play, but what do you think your next round matchup is going to be like? Next round? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already looking past Chris? I'm, who, no, I'm talking about Chris. Chris. <laughs> Chris okay. No, no disrespect to Chris. No disrespect to Chris. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm a working horse. <laughs> right? I, don't, I don't think – I don't know if 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 you were if Coach Bentley or Coach Buck was would have said like this guy's a deep problem. I mean, my eyes are opening up. I'm I'm drooling. Like I'm I'm ready. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the competition. So I'm not. Right. I'm okay, not too let me stop you right there. You you said all right, bro. Pause. I you, you know I gotta say it because you said your eyes were opening up. I, I I happened to look up and I didn't know if you were looking at the ceiling or not. So were you actually looking at the ceiling for your eyes to be open? No, they're not, no, no. Right now, see, they're still closed. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> he just got it so much. Hey, so hey, man, you know I love you, man. I love you too, man. I'm gonna just let Damo know that, and Quay, you guys know, man, is is nothing I wouldn't do for you guys then and now, and just to you know show you guys, you know how much I really miss you guys. I'm a grown man in my house, and I still. <laughs> I still walk around with this in the house sometimes, intimidating my daughter sometimes <laughs> when they need to clean up. So I just want you to know, Damo, man, we love you, man. And appreciate everything you've done you, for the program. Man. Hey, I like your face, Billy. But look at mine. Oh, bro. <laughs> hey, Billy, Billy, hey, cut that out. Hey, cut that out. Hey, bro, no, we're not doing that. No, um, cut. Hey. <laughs> All right. Um, one of the guys that I would like to um to talk about and who impacted my career was uh, Raekwon Hobson. Um, after my sophomore year, um, at Wakefield, um, he had an interview with a guy that would always come and uh, see us play. Um, and the message that he spoke about was me, um, learning more aspects of the game understanding uh, my potential um, when I didn't understand my potential myself. So looking at that video of Ray um, really inspired me. Um, I looked at it so many times. Majority of the views are probably from me, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, it was, um, yeah, very defining moment. Video message goes to Mark Quay Walton. Uh, just want to say, just keep, just keep shooting that ball, man. But I also want you to work on all the aspects of your game. If you do that, I think the sky's the limit for you, too. You know, you, you Damo, and X, you guys are the big three. In my yeah, career. I, I think you had 105 views if you said most of them were you. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably 75%. 75% would probably be. Too, okay. Know? Hey, yeah. so let's let's go real quick to, uh, I believe that was your sophomore year yeah. when Raekwon hit the shot uh, in the old gym. Last game ever to be played in the gym, uh, a, a berth for the state tournament on the line, and Raekwon hits that shot. Uh, you found yourself with the ball in your hands when we took it out. What what happened? Well, what happened was I knew that the ball wasn't going to Corey or Hermius because they were being double teamed, and everybody knew Corey or Herm was getting the ball. Well, not Herm, but Corey. Um, so <laughs> we had to, you know, I, I just had to make a decision within that moment. And I, and I saw that they were playing back on Ray. I was like, okay, all right. Well, I'm going to give the ball to him. Let's see what he's going to do. Because I'm, like, at the volleyball line. I'm just like, all right, if I pull this, then, like, everybody's just going to be like, bro. <laughs> like, we could have did something else. But, you know, I saw, I saw that they were leaning back on Ray. I was like, okay, they underestimated Ray. So I swung it and then just, you know, Ray the greatest shot in Wakefield history. Yes, sir. So, Damo, what it, big games? Any big games you can remember? Um, I mean, we know your junior year, you was the regional player of the year, and we also took down the Big Bad Potomac, and they had about three or four Division One basketball players on their team, and everybody. Hey, Buck, do you remember a good friend of ours? We got to give my man a shout-out, my man George Porsche. 
who is now an assistant coach at uh, Boston College on the women's side, my man Porsche, 95 Porsche. Um, <laughs> we, uh, he came to that game. Damo, you might not know this story, but uh, Porsche came to that game, and Porsche coached with us back at WNL back in the days. Yeah. And he came into the game. He lives in Woodbridge. And he, he knew all about the hype about Potomac. And he walked into Wakefield's gym, and he had never seen us before. Yeah. And he walked into the gym, and he saw you warm up. And, Damo, I have no idea why that game you wore a headband. <laughs> you had a headband on that game. And my man Porsche walked over. He knew uh, – what was the big boy they had? Randy – uh, no, Trey Porter. Trey, Trey Porter. Porter, 6'10". Trey Porter, who got it quickly ahead to Porter for that big slam. Who signed with George Mason, then he transferred to ODU, then he played in Nevada. Yeah. And then they had Randy Haynes, who's probably playing professional somewhere now after he played three years at ODU. Yeah. So he walked in the gym and he said, no disrespect. Who is the Asian dude with the headband on that's going to be trying to guard Trey Porter? <laughs> and he said, at halftime, he said, Trey Porter is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but no, hey, no disrespect. It was I, – I'll I give Jalen all the credit in the world with that game. Jalen yeah, carried that game. Yeah, Jalen got the game. ball really well. Jalen yeah, did his thing that game. Yeah, he, he did really well. well. I, think, I think with that game, in order to beat a team like Potomac, and we talked about – I think – I know you guys remember we talked about uh, they had never really been – after they punched somebody – People didn't punch them back. Came in this game, we had no pressure on us. The pressure was really on them because they were undefeated and they had to like keep their record going. So we just came here and played our basketball. And law and law and law and we came out with a W. Yep. And and our motto of that game was that when they hit us, we're gonna hit them back. And that was the main thing about it. That was a hell of a team. Of course, they went on to win the state championship. And you know, keep honore head coach there is a great friend of our me and Bucks. And that team was stacked and loaded and I just think that night we were prepared for everything that they gave us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they, they had some spectacular plays, but we had some spectacular plays. And I said it at, at the outset that one-on-one -on -one individual, they probably could beat us. But that night we bonded together as a five. Yeah. Nobody could have beat us that night, man. That was big time. Big time. I would say another big game, well, I thought, well, well when we were sophomores, I think, I think that TC game was pretty packed. When we, oh, before we yeah. played Langley, yeah, that, that yeah. game was crazy. Yeah. And then we went to the regional tournament, and we seen all them 6A fans. That was ridiculous. That was like – it felt like college, like yeah. atmosphere, something like that, yeah. But uh, another big game I would say was my senior year when we beat National uh, National Christian. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. That was, that was – yeah, Alan, show, Alan Trico showed up that game. That that was a great game. I'm not about that game. That, oh, yeah. that that team had about four or five Division One players on it, and yeah, they did. We, we dismantled them as well, too, man. We I, think that, I think that was the highest we were. No, no, my fault. Junior year, we, that was the yeah. Junior year, we were the highest rank, or that was the highest all met ranking we had in like a I couple think it was years. Fourth or fifth or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good mm. times, good times, good times. Yeah. Hey, you. <laughs> oh, hey, you was good times. Team camp. Oh, what man. A, well, yeah. the luxury the luxury that you guys had was you guys got the chance to play with Buck for a whole summer. And I remember we started out, Damo was on my team. Wait, wait, wait. Damo was on my <laughs> team. You was team. You was team. team. Oh, no, that's right. I'm so we switched. Right. And, and, and you, you, you were like 0-7 oh, or something. <laughs> you came to me and you said, listen, man, uh, I'm taking Damo. I said, well, I don't need him. And, and, and you took him. She. And I think that went on maybe a 20 old run. Let me just tell you, but and I know you know, but Damo might not know. Now he's a grown man, I can tell him. We were on the verge of folding pro look if that team wasn't going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I called Buck that night and said, Buck, listen, I'm sorry. We're about to lose all our sponsorship that we have. This team is 0-8. This guy's putting up a lot of money for us, my man. I need Damo to show this guy we can win. Oh, we took Damo won like the next yeah, eight yeah. games, and we got all our sponsorship. And that was about eight years ago. Team Prolog is still going on. Damo, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, chill out. Hey, 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 it ain't, it ain't so traveling bad. like we did eight years ago, but, I mean, yeah. that year we was traveling like, like NBA stars, baby. Yo, yo. Oh, we were on yeah, airplane. Yeah. Damo, did you go to Vegas with us? Yes. Yeah. yeah Vegas, Indianapolis. Yes. Uh, yes. Back to back.
Had a lot to do with you, son. We've never told you, but we're telling you now. <laughs> Team Pro look, thank you. <laughs> hey, Mark Wade was so mad, man. Mark man, Wade was look, We was upset. <laughs> I'm upset. We went three and no. All we got three gold championships in a row. Then he going to take Yamo. Hey, hold on a second. Like, hey, 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 who they gave him Tyler <laughs> from what's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I think we had to make a trade, man. I had to save the franchise. <laughs> Damo was the franchise. I had to save us, man. I swear. I'll never forget that, man. We were, I'm we're not going to lie. Season. 16 was fun, but 17 was fun. I'm not going to lie. 17 was fun. Oh, know. my gosh. Yeah, that 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 was nothing like I'd ever seen before. It was, it was a different type I'm of... Glad you see look quick. Look quick. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> the gold and, 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 then, and then Bentley stole the kid from us. <laughs> hey, hey, typical AAU program, man. That was the best <laughs> kid, man. Hey, at least I stole him within the program. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. Oh, God. Damo, save Team Pro. Look, that's crazy. These kids have no idea. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Yo. <clears throat> but no, I think. Like really, like, like when we were, um, when you had us like bonding, like I think NC State, like that was our like the most pivotal point for us, cause like we didn't know each other. Team camp. Yeah, we didn't. Or team camp. Yeah, we didn't know each other. Like I didn't know who Ermius was. I didn't know. I didn't really know who Corey was. Probably the only person I really knew was Marquay, Xavier, and Jalen. For real, for real. Like. Right. And then throughout that's the year, that's, the time to do it. That's, team camp. that's what team camp is for. For you guys yeah. to bond to get to know one another. Yeah. Cause like I mean, we were separate, and then you like, you made us all have our uh, separate roommates, like new roommates, like brand new kids. So we're like, okay, like we, yeah, we started uh -huh. bonding. I remember Darnell forgot his jersey at uh, Word of God. We Word of God. God. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to play that game anyway. <laughs> hey, hold up, hold up now. But we, we, no, hold up. Were we down or were we up at halftime of that game? We, we were, were down up. like five. I know no, we, we were up. Oh, we were, we're up. up. We were oh, up at halftime, yeah. and everybody was watching our game. It was over at the Dow Center, uh -huh. and those guys were loaded. Of course, I think the point guard went to Pitt, and yeah. you know, we're the John Wall's team. They they were loaded, and we had them beat, man. But at the last minute or so in the game, they ended up pulling it out. Yeah. But from that, we knew that we would get back to Northern Virginia, and we wouldn't see anybody like them. Oh, but and I, I knew we could like, play with anybody. You for, we we played a, like a couple of extra more games that uh, that weekend too. We picked oh up yeah. A lot more games. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of respect that that weekend down at team camp. A lot of respect. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, well, this will wrap up, fellas. Will oh, we? Uh, before, before we wrap up, my man, you know, we had that one thing with Dama on his team face. I found another one. Look at this one. Man, look. <laughs> man. man. <laughs> All right, man. Dama. Hey, bye, bye. We some, hey, we have some stars on this team, Shawty. Bye, bye. <laughs> the parents. Bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.